Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is the card, the Wheel of Fortune. And about a year ago, I had done a video on this, but I realized I had left a lot of stuff out. So I kind of put it on the shelf for about you know, about a year, and then I decided to pick it back up and uh, and finish it up. So, But uh, first of all, uh, this card is associated with the Hebrew letter Kaf, which means to grasp uh, the planet Jupiter. Um, you'll notice the Rider Waite deck in the middle. Um, you'll notice that these creatures are from uh, Ezekiel's vision in the Bible. And according to the scripture, Ezekiel describes a wheel within a wheel. Um, these creatures actually represent the, um, the Zodiac, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, which were described in the Bible. Uh, the creatures they were symbolic of. Um, and also inside the wheel, you'll see uh, Hebrew letters. Uh, you could say it's the name of God, yud heh vav -He. Um You'll also see some, uh, uh, some spelling in there, T-A-R-O. You can spell it tarot. You know, you could read it backwards and it'll say Torah. Um, you can, it can also say rota, which means wheel. There's different ways you can play around with it. There's also alchemical symbols in there. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that I did a, a video on the high, pri on high priestess. If you take a look at the card, the high priestess, she's holding a Torah, which symbolizes our own personal magic. And this card, the wheel of fortune symbolizes, uh, our transformation, our magical transformation, there's alchemical symbols in there, our alchemical transformation of our our, um, our magic. You'll notice that there's the, the goddess uh, Fortuna, where we get uh, the word fortune and, and fate. Goddess of fate, she is blindfolded. So as we progress through life in our magical path, uh, the goddess of fate is no respecter of persons. In fact, um, according to Greek myth, uh, man's fate was ruled by three goddesses known as the fates. You could associate that with the triple goddess, uh, virgin, mother, and crone. But according to folklore, their spin was so powerful, even Zeus had to obey them. And, um, you know, other stuff with this, there's also the, the you know, in uh, pop culture, you got the person being, you know, uh, clinging to a wheel, being spun by a wheel on a wheel as torture, where that comes from. That's actually from mythology. I think the 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 man's name was Ixion, uh, was infatuated with Hera. Zeus got upset, and what he did was he tied him to a wheel, a fiery wheel for him to be spun for eternity. So that's where that comes from. But, um, you know, if you take a look at this card here, uh, this card right here, the Wheel of Fortune on the right-hand side, um, you'll see that there's some writing. Um, you'll see that it says uh, Regnavo, Regno, Regnavi, and so forth. That means I have ruled, I rule, I am without rule. And so there you go, the goddess uh, Fortuna, blindfolded, um, in the Middle Ages, she was renamed to Dame Fortune. So, but anyway, um, there's also, uh, according to myth, um, the Roman god, Roman god uh, Janus, uh, the two-headed god of doorways. He has two heads symbolizing he sees his past and future. Uh, according to um, folklore in Europe, you can take, the wheel of fortune and the devil and put them on either side of your uh of your headboard say an incantation and supposedly you could uh speak to janice but i mean um but yeah that's some uh, commentary that i had on the wheel of fortune go ahead and like and subscribe to this dark sorcery youtube channel